a uh, very dedicated uh, worker in the Lord's ministry, had to be carried out of the meeting, and he had to be carried one mile back to the lodge where he was staying at. Just powerful just over, outpouring. O- overcome with the presence of God. Just tremendous overcome, and, and overcome not for 20 minutes all night long, uh, for six or eight or even 10 hours, just absolutely Why people can't move. Why does God do move. this when you teach <laughs> on the anointing? Well, it, uh, it's, it's, that, it's the teaching and anointing mixed with the hunger. Those two things come together. There's a catalyst to people are wanting to be set free. The Lord wants them to set, be, be set free. And so that anointing hits their faith, and it causes a chain reaction in the spirit realm. Tell me in India about the person with the chunks of flesh. Uh, I was ministering in India last year, Sid, and when I went to the meeting to minister, there were no easy cases. It was all hard cases. There were no headaches or no little arthritis in the elbow. It was major diseases. Either it was leprosy, people with body parts missing, people with chunks of flesh falling off, tremendously hard cases. And I began to pray for some of the Christians first. God began to heal them. The Hindus saw that. The Hindus came to the meeting with no faith in Jesus as Messiah, but they saw the miracles. They came and when they saw what God was doing, they jumped up in the healing line. God began to heal the Hindus. Many of them, get, many of them just gave their hearts to the Lord right there on the spot. But said, even as I was ministering, there was a young woman in her early 20s. Uh, I could see her. She was laid out on the front row. They brought her to the meeting. They literally carried her into the meeting. She was blind, paralyzed, and demon-possessed. God did an incredible miracle with her. They carried her up into the line, and uh, I laid hands on her. I knew the anointing of Jesus went into her body, but they carried her off. When they carried her off, she looked almost exactly the same as she did before I prayed for her. But the next morning, the crowds had, got, had swollen. We're uh, well into several thousand people in the meeting now. At the height of the praise and worship, when everybody had their hands raised, lip, worshiping Jesus, in walked that young woman, absolutely, totally healed. All the paralysis gone, uh, her eye, eyesight restored, and she had given her heart to Jesus, and rays of light were literally streaming out of her face. Everybody saw it. The church almost fell out. It absolutely shook the church. It shook the community. Imagine. I just returned from India. She's still saved today. She was a Muslim. She gave her heart to the Lord, and she's saved today. Now, when you speak, all sorts of supernatural things occur, especially when he teaches on the anointing. And uh, we were talking about the effect of this golden rain in the Himalayas. Yes. Uh, what did it look like? Sid, so you could literally look up lift your face up and look up and you could literally feel liquid drops of rain falling on your face. It felt like rain in the natural, but it was golden and it would just splash all over your face and give <laughs> you the most uncontrollable laughter. Uh, you, you, uh, you would just laugh and laugh. It doesn't matter how difficult life was or what kind of uh, discouraging experiences you may had. When, you, when that golden glory hit you and that rain just went all over you, you just would laugh uncontrollably. I, I was laughing uncontrollably. I, I just so full of the joy of God that it just makes it all worth it. Stephen, I feel the rain. I Me feel too. the I presence. Think. Will you pray for those that are watching right now? You know, some of you uh, are watching me. You're discouraged. Uh, you're discouraged about your finances. You're discouraged about your body. You're discouraged that your children are not serving the Lord. Just let God refresh you right now. Come on, just look up to the Lord. Raise your hands. Father, I pray that you reign, refresh, and bless your people right now because God says it's going to be all right. God wants to wipe away your tears right now, and it's time for you to smile. You come to, through your season of the storm. Now the clouds are parting. Now the sun's shining. And now God's wanting to bless you because you've honored him through this whole thing. You've praised him and now it's time for your reward. So lift your eyes up and look unto the Lord Jesus Christ for your faith shall now become sight and you will see the blessings of God overtake your life. Glory to Jesus. Just receive his golden rain now. Hmm. I'm receiving it. Briefly, tell me about this dream you've had for 20 years keeps reoccurring. Sid, I've had this dream over 100 times of a gigantic tidal wave. I, when I began to have this dream about 20 years back, I didn't understand it. It would almost terrify me. But a gigantic wave breaking over America, breaking over the nations of the earth. And what I've come to uh, understand that this is, is a great end time outpouring of God's spirit that's gonna break over the church and God's gonna beautify his church. And we're gonna see the, the glory poured out upon his people like we've never seen before. The greatest miracles we've ever seen are still yet to come. We're gonna taste them, we're gonna experience it, we're gonna walk in it and live in God's glory. Did you get that? A tidal wave is coming. You don't want to be on the sidelines when this happens. You want to be a participant. 
There, there is no close second to the excitement of having intimacy with God, knowing that God loves you, knowing that you weren't an accident, knowing there is a destiny for your life, knowing that if God is for you, who can be against you? The only way you can know this is not through religion, not through tradition, but by knowing God for yourself. The only way to know God is to know that God came in a human form. Jesus lived among us as a man, died in your place, and by his blood, your sins were washed away. It's as if today is the first day of the rest of your life. What are you going to do about it? Do you want this new beginning? Do you love the way it is? Are you saying there must be something more? There is, in your own words. I mean, I yelled out a simple prayer, Jesus, help, transform my life, my marriage, my mind, my health, everything. It's time for you to have that transformation. The rain is falling right now, the golden rain, with your own mouth, out loud, make Jesus your Messiah and Lord. Do it now. If you need a healing or a miracle now, if you want an undeniable increase of God's presence in your life, if you want to move into greater realms of the supernatural, then call now and get your copy of Stephen Brooks' brand new book, The Sacred Anointing, and his bonus audio CD teaching, Divine Visitations, both for a donation of only $25. Shipping and handling is free. Ask for offer number 9066. Stephen was instructed by Jesus to write this book so he can teach you how to be saturated in God's glory and intimate presence. When you read his book, you will receive your breakthrough over demonic strongholds, obtain healing and answers to your prayers for for others, experience miracles in your life and in the lives of others you minister to, and so much more. Through this bonus audio CD teaching, Divine Visitations, Stephen reveals the mysteries of the angelic and heavenly realms and how you can experience them. Call now to get your copy of Stephen's book, The Sacred Anointing, and his bonus audio CD teaching, Divine Visitations, both for a donation of only $25. Shipping and handling is free. Ask for offer number 9066 or write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9066 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today.